Hi, this is day two pickup video. I'm John Aguilera, and this is what I got at the Midwest Gaming Classic. First up, Pinbot for the NES. I did not get the physical pinball machine, but you'll see it in my video. It was beautiful. So, yeah, the NES version. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Five bucks. I saw it in there for 25 as well. Hell of a steal. King's Knight. Don't know anything about it. More games, guys. More games. Yeah, we're packing up to leave. Adventures of Lolo. We got a five hour trip. Uh, I think this is a hidden gem. So, looking forward to it. It was in a glass case, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. For 10 bucks. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I got a Data East game here. Uh, two crude dudes. And sounds so much like bad dudes. And uh, Data East also made bad dudes. So I'm hoping it's just like that. The Bleach Surfer Dude. Four bucks. I think that's a steal for this game. Uh, this one looked really badass. I'm hoping it is. Brutal Paws of Fury for the Sega Genesis. I don't know. I think it's a good one. I hope. <laughs> Moving on, Jewel Master. Oh yeah, that was a recommendation by Tommy. Um, I have seen it before. It was in my wish list, but Tommy Tommy found it for me, and I'm like, <gasps> I must get it. Soul Blade, PS One. I think I wanted this when I was younger, but I got it. Probably gonna get my ass whooped in it because it's supposed to be hard. Another Daylight East game, Caveman Games. I was so jealous of uh, Tommy picking it up yesterday. And we played this last night in the hotel. Um, I got it for five bucks. He got his for five bucks as well, loose. I got mine in the box. And I think the manual's in it. So that's badass. You can't go wrong with Bitch Toss. Play this game, buy it. It's a gem. And another caveman game for the Sega Genesis called The Humans. I have not heard about this one, so. I am hoping it's fucking fantastic. It's another game tech game. They made the Pause of Fury, I guess. So. Oh. Maximo, Ghost to Glory, PS2. And for GameCube, I picked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. I got a free game, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. No disc inside, but we can fix that. <laughs> Ty. The Tasmanian Tiger and Tai 2, the Tasmanian Tiger. Saving best for last, and that is Sonic the Hedgehog. Why did I get this game? Because she makes he makes out with a human chick. That's the main reason. Anyways, I'm gonna switch over to Tommy and see what he got. So we got different scenery. Yes, it's on the other side of our truck here. Other side. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> John said he's not gonna talk, but well, he talked. <laughs> So I didn't really pick up as much as John. I, I did get this uh, Space Harrier 2 for the Sega. Pretty happy about that. I got that with a combo by getting this guy and this guy together. So I offered him 50 for it. Uh, it might be a little bit much, but I love this game, so we got it anyway. Uh, then we had to give uh, a little bit of love, that's right, to our very old console. Because it needs love. And might as well get a good game for it, because most of the games suck on this console. A lot. A lot. <laughs> so, uh, get the console, because a lot of the games are good. No. No, no, they're not. Uh, we picked up, a uh, Chrono Trigger for ten bucks! Whoa! Shit, it has Japanese on it. Oh, okay, fine. Fine, it's a Japanese one, not, not the American. Hence the price. But, I hear that my, uh, Retron 5 can translate this game. So I actually picked it up more for a test. Uh, it'll be great if it can, because... These games are fucking expensive, and I didn't swear there. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, uh, we, we didn't pick up this. Uh, I offered the guy like a hundred bucks for all that you see here. These are all ROM jumps, and we're gonna try to be dumping some ROMs into our game and see if we can make a homebrew. So I told the guy as I was walking by, I was like, I will give you a hundred for all of these. And he kind of took me serious. 
And he's like, well, I will do 120. And I'm like, well, what about 110? And he's like, fine, I'll do all that. So we got all our carts for expansion, so we put everything in here. And now all I gotta do is figure out how this thing works. Uh, hopefully we can, because then we're gonna do some home brews ourselves and see how much fun that can be. Uh, but I did save something for the last year. So uh, let's see what else we got going on. We got all these, put these out of the way. And we're gonna have to make some room now. Because uh, when you got a shelf at home, sometimes your things just need to be sandwiched in between, well, beautiful, beautiful girls. Women. So, <laughs> I got these little bookend cases. Oh, yeah. Are they coming like a little glass? In fact, right here is what they would actually look like when they're up. So, pretty happy about this. I paid way too much money for it, so I'm not going to tell you how much. Just, just know that I'm a sad, sad man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our pickups. The day wasn't as uh, eventful as the other one, but all in all, I think it was a pretty good haul. Adios.